Okay, continuing our discussion with uh, web and network and using Python. Uh, here's a, a Python built-in function called length. Uh, this is going to return the length or the number of items in an object. So this might be like um, a list or uh, even a string um, or a collection of things like your, your dictionary or array sets. So what you can do is you can do things like um, if you had some list, and, it, and again, you're, you're going to be using list with the square brackets. So you can do um, uh, returning like the length of this list or a count of this list. If we were to look at the count of this list, um, what you're actually doing is you're you're counting the number of times an, an item appears in the list. So you can see if this is my list, I, Apple actually appears in there twice, so does banana. Um, you, if you said uh, list fruits dot count and Apple is going to show two. Um, you see tangerine, I don't have any tangerine, so it's going to show zero. If I ask for a length of that list, it's going to tell me seven. I have seven items. One two, three, four, five, six, seven um, different items in my fruit list. So that's length versus count. Um, there's a list reverse, which is going to reverse the elements um, in place. So you can um, swap out, or, or, or I should say it's going to flip um, your list append is adding uh, items to the end of the list so in this example I'm adding grapes to my fruit list uh, sort is going to sort your list and it's going to sort it in place so you can see here it's alphabetically sorting my fruit list we've got pop which is going to remove uh, and return it. So if I if I say pop, it's going to um, remove the last item on the list. So fruits pop is going to push off that last item, which is pear, and return it. Index is for uh, determining where an item is in the list. So if I want to know where banana is in the list, uh, re, re, recall that list always started index zero. So if I said uh, fruit list dot index banana, uh, orange is zero, apples one, pear is two, banana is three, so it'll return three. That's the first instance of that item that I'm looking for in the list. It returns that index value. Uh, another um, thing I want to talk about in Perl is this idea of the um, try and accept and else and finally. This is a really interesting syntax with Perl. Um, basically, this is a, a nice way of doing some uh, debugging if you want. What you can do is to try to do something um, and if you get an exception, do something else. Um, Let's look at an example. I'm defining a, a new uh, uh, item. I'm calling it just uh, dividing x by y. So I'm going to try. So my result is uh, x divided by y, except uh, if I've got an error, is going to print error. Uh, else, meaning there's no, no exception, it's going to print the result and then when everything else when when it's completed it's going to say you can add a finally and it'll print out your exit command so this is uh your try accept else and finally syntax for python 